Dear students and faculties, welcome to my YouTube channel on the subject Engineering Graphics. In this video, we will see about the solution for the JNTU Anantapur December 2018 question paper for the subject Engineering Drawing for the branches Civil and Triple E uh, electrical and Electronics Engineering. Okay, So, this I will be showing you the question in the first slide and the next slide you will be seeing the answer. If you have any doubt, you can pause the video and you can see either the question or the answer clearly and thoroughly. Okay, then you can move on to the uh, next uh, slide or the next problem by playing my video. Okay. The first question is construct a hyperbola with its foci. 70 mm part and the major axis that is distance between the vertices as 40 mm. Draw a tangent to the curve at a point 20 mm from the focus. So this is a question. For this, this is the answer. The answer is first you draw a line AC on it. Mark the foci focuses F1 and F2 such that the distance between F1 and F2 uh, is 70 mm apart. Okay, then you you mark the vertices such that the distance between the two vertices V1 and V2 is 40 mm. Okay, so that is the first step. Then the next step is after F2, arbitrarily you can mark the number of points like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Okay, after marking the points, you are ready to get and mark the points. Uh, which is which are the locus of the points of the curve okay uh, say for example suppose to mark the point 1 1 here uh, 1 1 here the procedure is uh, take the distance of v the point number 1 from v1 that is with v1 1 as radius f1 as center draw the arc here the next step is with v2 1 this distance as radius and f2 as center cut arc and get the point 1 1 ok so you have to follow the similar procedure on the bottom side of this particular drawing also S follow the similar kind of procedure for the remaining points 2 1 3 1 4 1 5 1 and so on ok let me let us see to mark the, to get the point 2 1 uh, with v1 2 as the radius f1 as center draw arc here then with v2 2 as radius f2 as center cut arc and then you'll be getting the point 2 1 by cutting the arc onto the the previous arc drawn okay so like the follow the same procedure for the remaining points also as well Okay, after obtaining all the points, join all those points in proper sequence by free hand. That is the, the, the curve, the hyperbola that you will be obtaining. Okay, the first part of the answer for the first part is over now. The next part of the question is to draw a tangent to the curve at a point 20 mm from the focus. Okay, uh, mark point P which is 20 away from the focus F2. Okay, to draw the tangent through the point P, the procedure is the first step is uh, from P draw a line, a vertical line that cuts the line AC at Q. Okay, now take the distance of Q from V2, okay, with that as distance or radius, V2 as center, uh, get the point R on the same line AC. Now with draw line joining r and p and extend you will be getting the point uh, you will be getting the line rs that line rs is nothing but the tangent uh, on the curve through a point p okay so as i said earlier if you have any doubt pause the video see the answer clearly and thoroughly uh, you, 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 will, you, will, you, will, you will get the answer for this particular problem by yourself shall we move on to the next question okay the second question okay 
the second question is draw an ellipsoid of rolling circle of diameter 50 mm which rolls outside another circle the base circle of 180 mm diameter for one revolution draw a tangent and normal at any point on it okay it is a epicycloid the epicycloid means uh, the circle will be rolling on a circular surface outside of it if it is inside of it that is called a uh, hypocycloid okay now the epicycloid so this is a question the procedure is first uh, 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 you draw a 180 diameter circle 180 diameter means a 90 mm radius okay with draw a 90 mm uh, uh, arc ab arc ab radius is 90 mm whose angle is 100 mm we uh, i arrived the 100 such that uh, uh, this arc length ab must be equal to the perimeter of the circle okay how to get uh, how will be how will you be finding the perimeter of the circle the perimeter the radius or the diameter of the circle given in the problem is 50 pi d is the perimeter or the uh, 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 circumference of the circle so pi d pi d is the circumference so uh, this arc length ab is equal to the circumference or the perimeter of this rolling circle okay uh, for this you have to get uh, find out the angle the formula for getting the angle is theta is equal to r by r where small r equal to the radius of the rolling circle okay capital r is the uh, uh, the surface okay this is the surface okay capital r capital r is 90 small r is 50 by 2 25 so 25 by 90 into 360 is equal to 100 so as a first step draw <coughs> the arc ab with 90 as center 100 degree as the angle the next step is with capital a with reference to capital a point the starting point draw the circle point whose diameter is 50 as given the problem okay now the next step is divide the circle into 12 parts okay once you divided the circle into 12 you have to divide this arc a b also into 12 then after that through all the points 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash 6 dash and so on draw the arcs with this point as the center okay so draw the arcs and uh, draw the arc uh, through the center of the circle O also divide the center of the, this arc into 12 also as well mark those points as O1, O2, O3 and so on okay so one while the circle is in uh, rolling okay uh, the center of this particular circle will be sliding on this arc only okay to mark the uh, to mark the cutting points while this circle will be rolling on this arc ab okay you have to trace and mark those points for example to mark the point 1 1 okay the idea is with uh, O A, always with O A as O A as center. O A is nothing but the radius of the circle. Okay, with O A as radius, this O one. This is O one. Okay, O one as center. Cut arc on the arc which is passing through the point one dash. So this is the cutting point number one. For cutting point number two, 25 mm. That is uh, 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 radius of this uh, rolling circle as radius. This is O two. O two as uh, center cut arc on this uh, the, the cut on this arc uh, which is uh, passing through the point 2 dash right so this is O2 sorry uh, uh, 2 1 ok similarly after uh, uh, get the cutting points by following the similar kind of procedure get the points 3 1 4 1 5 1 6 1 7 1 8 1 9 1 10 1 11 1 and finally the big join all those points in proper sequence that is the epicycloid epicycloidal profile that we will be obtaining okay so one part of the problem is over the next point is to draw a tangent <coughs> on any point on the curve okay 
anywhere on this particular uh, epicyclical curve mark the point p after marking the point p on this curve okay with the 25 that is the uh, radius of this rolling circle as radius cut arc on the arc which is passing through the center of the circle okay so you will be obtaining q uh, join draw line running this point q with this the the center of the rkb okay while doing it so you'll be getting the intercept capital r onto this rkb now join r with p that is the normal to this curve at this particular point p perpendicular to this p r if you draw a line perpendicular to it the line st is nothing but the required tangent uh, on a point p which is on the uh, curve epicycloid okay so this is the answer again i repeat if you have any uh, doubt pause the video and see the answer carefully we'll move on to the next problem third problem is construct a vernier scale to read meters decimeters and centimeters and long enough to measure up to 4 meter the rf representative factor of the scale is 1 by 20 mark on it a distance of 2.28 meter so first you have to draw the scale okay a vernier scale after drawing the vernier scale with uh, the given data rf and uh, to measure up to 4, 4 meters you have to mark and show the distance of 2.28 meters so first using the rf representative factor you have to uh, get to know the length of the scale AB required. The length of the scale AB is equal to 1 by 20. 1 by 20 is given in the problem here. RF into it is long enough to measure a distance of up to 4 meters. So 1 by 20 into 4 meters. Okay, I am converting this uh, 4 meters into uh, millimeter. 1 meter equal to 1000 millimeter. So 1 by 20 into 4 into 200 mm. The length of the scale AB here is equal to 200 mm. Then after uh, drawing the line AB whose length is equal to 200 mm, uh, uh, this length AB actually it is uh, 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 after uh, using this uh, scale factor uh, it, the, its uh, length is uh, 200 mm but its actual length is 4 meters actually. Now divide this 4 meter 4 uh, divide this AB into 4. So, each uh, division will be uh, equal to 1 meter. Okay. After that, the each division you su subdivide into 10. So, 1 subdivision is equal to 1 decimeter. So, like that you divide the line AB. Okay. After that, we will see the, the vernier part. Okay. So, on top of it, draw the show the vernier scale the thing is the vernier scale cd is equal to the length of this vernier scale is 1.1 mm okay so 1.1 not 1 mm 1.1 meter okay if you convert this into centimeter it will be 110 centimeter okay you divide this uh, 110 centimeter length cd into 10 equal parts okay you have divided the main scale the main division as one uh, uh, four equal divisions one subdivision one division you divided into 10 equal subdivisions that is on the main scale on the venue scale the same way uh, the the total length of the venue scale is 110 centimeter divide that into 10 equal parts so one subdivision one division will be equal to 11 centimeter so from here if you measure up to this it is 11 20 uh, 22 33 44 55 and so on okay so now you have constructed the main scale as well as the venue scale then go to the problem mark <coughs> a distance of 2.28 meters on it now <coughs> i am dividing this uh, 2.28 in as 1.4 plus 0 0.18 0 0.88 means 0.88 meter uh, means 88 centimeter so on it if you mark the eighth division that is equal to 88 centimeter or 0.88 meters okay 
so 0.88 is marked on vernier scale on the main scale from here mark 1.4 meter 1 meter 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 1.4 so the distance of pq p is on vernier scale q is on the main scale the distance between the the points p and q is is, is nothing but uh, uh, 0.88 plus 1.40 is equal to 2.28 meters that is answer okay so <coughs> you got the answer for the third problem also we'll move on to the fourth problem <coughs> the fourth problem is uh, draw the projection of the following point on a common reference line common x-ray line point a is 10 above hp 16 in front of vp again point a lying on hp 25 in front of vp Again, point A lying on VP and 70 mm above HP. Point C 20 behind, 30 behind, 40 below, 30 behind. Point A in VP 55 above HP. So this, this is a question. I have drawn a common reference. For the first problem, the first problem is the point A is 40 above HP. That is A dash is 40 above XY line. A top of the same point is 60 in front, this is 60 below x y. Okay, the answers for the next uh, subdivision is uh, A is lying on H P, A dash is on x y, and A top view is 25 in front. Third problem: find in V P or on V P and 70 above H P, A dash is 70 above x y. Fourth problem: find C. 40 below c dash is 40 below x y uh, below x p or below x y and 30 mm behind v p 30 mm behind v p the fourth uh, fifth one uh, point a is in v p and 55 above x p so this is the answer so each uh, uh, subdivision carry two marks uh, two marks or uh, four marks. Next part. Draw a projection of a straight line AB 60 mm long, parallel to HP and inclined at an angle of 40 degrees to VP. The end A is 30 above and 20 in front. So it is a single inclination problem uh, uh, as far as the straight line is concerned. So very simple problem. This is the answer. <coughs> uh, since uh, it is parallel to HP and inclined to VP, in top view, you will be seeing the true length 60 and true angle 40. So, first you complete the top view. Before completing the top view, first mark the one end, the left end. Left end A is 30 above, A dash is 30 above uh, HP and 20 in front of VP. So, after marking A dash and A, uh, 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 go for the top view first because you are seeing the true length and true angle here in top view. Uh, draw a 40 degree line through A, okay, uh, whose length is equal to the length of line AB, so AB, the top view line, top view of the line, whose length is 60, it's, it is inclined at 40 degree. Then next step is, through B, draw a projector, fra, through A dash, or from A dash, draw a horizontal line, that way indicating the point B dash. Join A dash, B dash, and draw can and show it, that is nothing but the final point view. So this is the answer for the fifth one. We move on to the sixth one now. The sixth one is a pentagonal plane A, B, C, D, E, 35 mm side has its plane inclined at uh, 50 degrees to H. Its diameter joining the vertex B to the midpoint F of the base D E is inclined at 25 degrees to X Y line. Draw its projections, keeping the corner B nearer to the B. So this is the problem. So this is the this is the problem or the question. So you uh, go see the problem. It is inclined at 50 degrees HP initially. So you assume that it is parallel or on HP. Okay. So if the plane is on HP, the it the plane can be seen as a plane uh, in top view. So start draw the top view. First. So in to start the top view. So initially you have to draw this pentagon. Okay. B C D E A. Okay. Such that uh, the left extreme is a point. B is a point here. It is at the left extreme. 
okay with this only if you if you tilt it this corner will be resting on the ground okay so this is the initial and first topic get the corresponding front view b dash c dash d dash now go for the tilt okay after tilting the plane should be inclined at 50 degrees to h till this it is seen as a line now in front view so okay you till this line okay and incline at an angle of 50 degree okay so you have completed this stage now right so this is the second front view draw projectors and draw horizontal lines from the top view you will be getting the second top view after getting the second top view you go to through the problem now is diameter join the vertex b the vertex b okay to the midpoint of uh, the base d is i mark this point as f which is in it should be inclined at 25 degrees to x y line in, now it is parallel to <coughs> x y you have to tilt this uh, line corresponding to this you have to tilt the plane also such that b1 f is inclined at an angle of 25 degree so like that we draw uh, 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 to attain this till the uh, draw a 23 line first on it mark b1 f b1 f1 now ok in respect to this complete the third and final top with after completing this uh, third and final top view draw projectors and draw horizontal lines from the second front view get the point join all those points in proper sequence thereby you will be getting the third and final front view <coughs> ok now the sixth problem is over as I said earlier uh, if, if you have any doubt pause the video see the answer clearly and carefully now we move on to the next problem the seventh problem <coughs> a pentagonal prism of side of base 25 mm and axis 40 mm long is resting on HP on a corner of its base draw the projections of the prism when the base is inclined at uh, 60 degrees to HP and the axis appear to be inclined at uh, 30 degrees to VP ok it is a double inclination problem ok it is a double inclination problem uh, <coughs> uh, upon tilting a corner is resting on HP ok and uh, what is the first inclination here the base is inclined at 60 degrees to HP ok so initially you have to assume that instead of uh, inclined at 60 degrees it is 0 degrees to HP uh, that is the base is on HP with that assumption you have to draw the projection part so if that is the case you have to see, you can see the end either the top face or the base in top view so start the top view uh, uh, first ok so the top view initial top view is a pentagon ok the right extreme is a point because with respect to this only if you tilt it a, this corner C will be resting on the ground ok this is the initial <coughs> top view and the corresponding front view now till this front view says that it, it is in the base is inclined at 60 degrees to HP so this is the second front view draw projectors horizontal lines and uh, 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 complete the second top view ok here uh, there are if you to get this uh, top view you have to see this front view the observer has to see this front view from this end for this observer this top face is clearly visible this base is not visible so top view uh, uh, top face points 5 points are completely visible ok some points are hidden when it comes to the base then <coughs> you have to till this uh, solid such that uh, the the axis uh, appear to be inclined at an angle of uh, 30 degrees to VP. Uh, okay, here axis as well as the vertical edges are uh, parallel. Okay, so till this second top view and get the final third and final top view such that either the axis or the vertical edges are inclined at 30 degrees to VP. Okay, so this is the final top view. Draw projectors and horizontal lines and. Uh, try and complete the third and final uh, front view ok so this is the answer for the seventh question we move on to the eighth a cone of base 50 mm diameter and axis 60 mm long is resting on its base on HP 
It is cut by a section plane, parallel to VP and parallel to an extreme generator and passing through a point on the axis at a distance of 20 mm from the apex. Draw the development of the retained solid. Okay. If the section plane is sectioning a cone whose uh, 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 sectioning plane is parallel to any of the generator, then the, the profile that will be obtaining is a parabola. Okay. That is point number one. Okay. Uh, number two is uh, after getting the section, uh, after uh, marking the sectioning points, you can uh, uh, go for the development. Okay. So as per the problem, first you see the draw the top view and front view of the cone. Okay. After uh, drawing the top view and front view of the cone, okay. Uh, uh, show the section plane. The section plane is passing, cutting the meeting the axis at 20 mm from the apex. Okay. Uh, that is how it has been given in the question in the problem ok then the, this is the section plane 1 dash 6 dash is parallel to the the uh, uh, generator o dash g dash ok it is parallel ok it cuts uh, uh, 1 2 3 4 5 so that is 2 4 6 8 and 9 out of uh, 12 generators, okay, it cuts uh, uh, the uh, 9 generators. The 3 generators are completely removed, right. It cuts the base also as well, okay. Mark all the cutting points, okay. Uh, now, uh, th this is the, the, the obtain the section points uh, uh, both in front view and top view, but in this particular case, try to mark the section points only which, uh, which cuts the base that is point number 6 alone because you are not asked to complete the sectional top view ok you are asked only to draw the development of it ok if we see the development part of this problem uh, you have to draw a sector ok whose radius capital OG is equal to the true slant length of this particular cone ok here in the front view the generator o dash a dash and o dash g dash shows the true length these are called true slant lengths ok how you see the corresponding uh, uh, the, 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 the generators in the corresponding top view in top view o a is parallel to x y o g is parallel to x y if it is so the corresponding front view must show the true length ok so here the capital o g is equal to o dash g dash ok with this as radius capital O as center I have drawn the sector ok the angle of the sector the next point is the angle of the sector T is theta where theta is equal to base radius divided by true slant length into 360 that is small o g by o dash g dash into 360 25 by 60 into 360 so this angle is 138.5 ok since I divided the circle into 12 divide the sector also into 12 ok so draw all the show all the 12 generators even on the development also now on this you have to mark the cutting points now uh, these are the cutting points 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash and 6 dash transfer all the cutting points onto a cell either onto o dash a dash or onto o dash g dash from that TSL only you have to take the values with O dash as center ok with that as radius capital O here as center mark the cutting points ok as uh, 1 2 3 4 5 ok the point number 6 is on this ok take this distance arc length of this distance and mark the same on the arc GG capital GG ok so now you obtain all the, the the cutting points join all the cutting points in proper sequence and darken and show only the outline of the profile don't darken the intermediate uh, generators okay so this is the answer for the question number 8 we move on to the next uh, question the next question is uh, a, a orthographic view is given front view top view and right side view is given uh, for this for, uh, uh, object you have to draw the isometric of the same ok isometric uh, view of the same 
so i will be showing only the answer okay i won't be explaining it uh, clearly it will be self explanatory okay so pause the video see the answer uh, in the next uh, slide i will be showing you both the question as well as the answer okay pause the video and uh, 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 get to know and uh, uh, try to understand uh, to how to get the isometric view by yourself okay so this is the question okay for this this is the isometric view right uh, i'll pause uh, this video for about 1 minute okay you'll be uh, uh, you can uh, understand uh, uh, the the solution for this particular question by yourself okay now we move on to the, the last question the final 10th question is to make a freehand sketches uh, of the front top and side views of the object shown in the figure below and uh, for the object shown in figure below all dimensions are in the room. okay you have to show draw this the the three different orthographic views front side and top view by freehand okay but uh, uh, I, I have shown the uh, the uh, uh, three different orthographic views okay by drawing the lines and arcs using the instrument but you have to draw all the lines and arcs by freehand so that is the only difference so this is the question and this is the answer okay uh, kindly make this as a, this uh, uh, take a note of it you kindly draw this by freehand okay i have drawn the front view top view and right side view using scale and uh, compass okay but you have to draw <coughs> this answer by freehand proportionally okay now we have come to the end of uh, this particular uh, this particular video okay hope uh, uh, you understood the answers for all the 10 questions okay as far as the civil and uh, triple uh, question is concerned okay uh, good luck, all the best.